What's going on, everybody? We are hopping into my league inside of NBA 2K21 for the first time this year, except every single team in the NBA is going to have 15 of their best center. If you guys are new here, make sure you do subscribe to the channel. We are on the way to 400,000 subscribers, getting super close. But yeah, I have gone through every single NBA team in NBA 2K20, taking their top rated center and made 15 of them. So there's just entire teams of centers. But let's just start off by going over each team and seeing which center they have. So starting off here, we got the 76ers, of course. They got Joel Embiid. Then we got Brooke Lopez on the Bucks. Wendell Carter on the Bulls, Andre Drummond on the Cavs, Daniel Tice on the Celtics, Montrez Harrell on the Clippers, JV on the Grizzlies, Clint Capella on the Hawks, Bam Adebayo for the Heat, Cody Zeller for the Hornets, Rudy Gobert for the Jazz, Marvin Bagley for the Kings, Mitchell Robinson for the Knicks, Dwight Howard for the Lakers, no Anthony Davis because he's listed at power forward, Vucevic for the Magic, Porzingis for the Mavericks, Jared Allen for the Nets. He was actually one overall higher than DeAndre Jordan. We got Nikola Jokic on the Nuggets. Miles Turner on the Pacers. Derek Favors on the Pelicans. John Henson on the Pistons. Serge Ibaka on the Raptors. Marcus Hall was actually only a 77 overall. We got PJ Tucker on the Rockets coming in as our shortest center at 6 foot 5. It's going to be interesting to see how he does because uh, in 2K, of course, height is a big thing. Uh, so it's going to be tough for him at only 6'5 to keep up with these other teams. Spurs, we got LaMarcus Aldridge. Suns, we got DeAndre Ayton. Steven Adams on the Thunder. Cat on the Timberwolves. Nurkic on the Trailblazers. Marquise Chris on the Warriors. And then lastly, we got Thomas Bryant on the Wizards. And I want you guys to leave a comment down below right now on which center you think is going to actually win this thing. My pick, I'm thinking maybe Joel Embiid, but I also think that Nikola Jokic is going to do really good in this because he's really the only center that has high playmaking in this game. And he can really do it all. He can shoot from mid-range. He can shoot from three. He can playmake. He's one of the, he's probably the best point guard center of this group. He, he can also rebound. He's just not the most athletic player. But all in all, I think Jokic has the best chance at winning this. So with these teams, we're just going to simulate a normal season in my league. Uh, find out who gets MVP, what, what players do the best, what teams do the best, and ultimately who comes out on top. Now, I am going to skip the All-Star break because we do have just a bunch of centers. So it's actually quite glitchy and there can't be a full All-Star team. So we're just going to skip over that and go right to the awards. All right, so we made it to the end of the season. The game did crash once, but we, we ended up making it through. Carl uh, Anthony Towns gets MVP. John Henson gets sixth man of the year. I mean, it's, it's all the same player on every team. Uh, so these awards don't really mean too much. It's more of how the team did overall. Andre Drummond getting defensive player of the year. He also gets most improved player of the year, and it's actually the same Andre Drummond, even though there's 15 of him. Mike Malone gets coach of the year. So looking like Nikola Jokic with the best record, 70 and 12. That is very, very good. Uh, checking out our all NBA teams. They are completely glitched out because I have everybody at center. So it, it just did not work at all. But coming over here to the standings in the East, surprisingly, the Cavs and Andre Drummond are on top. I, I thought Embiid would have been up there easily the number one seed but we got Andre Drummond then we got Jared Allen Joel Embiid Bam Adebayo Mitchell Robinson Vucevic Clint Capella Wendell Carter I mean this is not Cody Zeller gets the ninth seed are you kidding me I did not expect that at all and our worst player is going to be John Henson right here only getting seven wins on the entire season uh, so honestly a little surprising in the east I did not expect the standings to be like that going over to the west and this is more what I was expecting this is what I expected from the west we got Nikola Jokic on top with 70 wins Cat right behind him with 69 we got Montrez Harrell DeAndre Ayton we got JV surprisingly did better than Rudy Gobert thought Rudy Gobert would have been a little higher Porzingis only with 52 wins. I thought as a stretch big, he would have done pretty good. And then our last player making the playoffs is going to be Steven Adams. So Nurkic not making it in there, surprisingly. His, his overall is pretty low in 2K. It's only an 83 or 84, I believe it was. 
And then PJ Tucker does the worst. I mean, at six foot five, he had a major disadvantage, especially in 2K, where height means a lot more uh, than than maybe in real life. But PJ Tucker was seven wins, tying with John Henson. So that that kind of sucks for him. Uh, if we come over here to our season stats, I mean, the league leaders doesn't matter too much, but Cat is top three for scoring. Then we got Jokic and then Montrez. And is it? it's almost just these three in the top 10. Then we got Marquise, Chris, and Bam. But Montrez, Cat, and Jokic all going crazy this season. Andre Drummond, top three for rebounds per game. Then we had Dwight Howard. Uh, Nikola Jokic, oh my gosh. Nikola Jokic was the top eight players for assists per game. That is crazy. Then we had Kat Nurkic. Oh my gosh, Nikola Jokic killing it for assists. Steals per game was Andre Drummond. How many of him is there? Top five was Andre Drummond, and then it was Jokic, and then Andre Drummond again. Blocks per game, we had Embiid. This is more spread out here a little bit. Embiid up top, Brook Lopez. Uh, Brooke Lopez again. Field goal percentage. We had Mitchell Robinson for the top four. Jared Allen and then back over to Mitchell Robinson. Let's see who did the best from three. I'm guessing it's going to be Cat. And yeah, it is Carl Anthony Towns. Easily. Top six is Cat. Then we go over to Porzingis. More Cat. Top 14 is Cat and Porzingis. And then Jokic finally entering there. I mean, there's not many great three point shooting centers. Uh, so it makes sense why he, he's all at the top there. Uh, but let's go to team stats overall to see how these teams compare. So starting off here, points per game, kind of figure out what the best offense in the league was. It's going to be Carl Anthony Towns, which makes sense. And then as you can see, his, his defense wasn't as good. Points allowed, best defense, or worst defense actually, is going to be Marquise Chris. He allowed 125 points per game. And the best defense goes to Andre Drummond. Cat with the best differential. Uh, field goal percentage. It was Mitchell Robinson, which we saw earlier. He, he was all on the top for field goal percentage. Three-point percentage, of course, is going to be Carl Anthony Towns. Free throw percentage is Joel Embiid. Rebounds per game. We had Andre Drummond pulling the most boards per game. Nikola Jokic with the most assists per game by far. Way ahead of everybody else. 16 ahead of Carl Anthony Towns, who came second. Steals per game was Andre Drummond. Blocks was Brooke Lopez. Dwight Howard has had the most turnovers per game. But let's just hop into the playoffs now and find out what happens. Starting off here with the first round. And in the first round, most of our top seeds moving on. Nikola Jokic beating Steven Adams. DeAndre Ayton beating out JV. Uh, we had a we had an upset here. Rudy Gobert beating Montrez Harrell, which really isn't much of a upset. Obviously, Rudy Gobert, the better center in real life. And then Kat beating Porzingis. Going over to the east, we had Andre Drummond beating Wendell Carter. Bam beating out Mitchell Robinson barely in game number seven there. Joel Embiid beating Vucevic. And then Jared Allen beating out Clint Capella. I'm surprised Jared Allen is actually doing so good in the simulation. I I was not expecting that at all. And a surprising second round going over to the East. Jared Allen defeating Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid was one of my picks to make it all the way. I thought he, he could have taken it, but getting eliminated in the semifinals there, the conference semifinals. Uh, and then Bam Adebayo with the upset over Andre Drummond. And then in the West, we got our top two players. Not surprising at all, Nikola Jokic and Carl Anthony Towns. Let's see which two players are going to make the NBA Finals. And it is going to be Nikola Jokic versus Jared Allen. I was expecting Jokic to make it here, but definitely not Jared Allen. A great run for him. He's only an 82 overall, and he defeated so many great players. Jokic is a 91. But let's see who's going to take this. Game 1 goes to Jokic. Game 2 goes to Jokic. Game Three goes to Jarrett Allen. Game four goes to Jarrett Allen. So we're tied up two to two. And then Jokic with a 3-2 lead. And hopping into game six, Jokic with a 10-point lead. Looks like he's actually going to take this series against Jarrett Allen. I wanted to get a little more gameplay, but I accidentally simulated too far into the game. Uh, but as you can see, it, it looks pretty ridiculous with with 15 of each player on each team. We got Jarrett Allen with the ball right now, passing to Jarrett Allen, passing to Jarrett Allen, who takes the three. That's no good. 
and Nikola Jokic is going to be our NBA Finals winner. Possibly the best center in the league. He's definitely up there. Uh, you got to beat Jokic. Cat. But yeah, Jokic's playmaking definitely got on this championship. Something a lot of the other centers in the league don't have. Uh, let's find out who's going to get Finals MVP. And oh my gosh, oh. Goes to Nikola Jokic. I was not expecting that at all. Uh, Jokic getting Finals MVP. That's crazy. I mean... You had Jokic, you had Nikola, Nikola Jokic. I mean, you had so many great players on this team, but Nikola Jokic getting Finals MVP. Uh, so checking out our, uh, so checking out Finals MVP, Jokic, 14.7 points per game, 6.2 rebounds, 5.2 assists, and also shooting 52% from the field goal. Not the greatest three-point percentage, 33.3%. Um, but that is going to be it for this video. When we put 15 of each team's best center on their team, Nikola Jokic coming out on top here. Uh, but that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy it, again, make sure you subscribe to the channel on a road to 400,000. And of course, smash that like button. This has been your boy Smickle, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Hey, Bill, I'm in the mood for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose right till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave with money that's a sticker. She picture perfect, so I told him I'm a